Hey, it's Roberto Mickey again. We've got another great video today. It's on Zimilacel. It's a trial drug by Vertex, which had an article published on June 20th in the New England Journal of Medicine. And I think it's a fascinating article. Um, it is sort of in line with a previous uh, presentation we had on Santa uh, and their trial for type 1 di diabetes. Uh, in any case, this is a drug that's in phase 1 and 2. And basically, the drug is an allogeneic stem cell derived islet cell, and it does require immunosuppression for it to be accepted by a human. And it's in a phase one and two trial. Uh, part A was 400 million islet cells were injected into the portal vein of the patients and uh, with an option for a second dose. And in part B and C, the patients received 800 million islet cells injected into the portal vein. They had to be on glucocorticoid free immunosuppressive therapy afterwards, but the results were quite fascinating. Of the 12 participants in parts B and C, 12 out of 12 were free of severe hypoglycemic events, and 12 out of 12 had hemoglobin A1Cs of less than 7%, and 12 out of 12 had greater than 70% of their time in a range between 70 and 180 milligrams per deciliter of serum glucose. This is quite remarkable, and 10 out of the 12 patients uh, were insulin dependent at 365 days post-treatment. So essentially, these patients were cured of their type 1 diabetes. Now, there were some adverse events, and the most common were diarrhea, headache, nausea, coronavirus, to the, um, mouth ulcerations, neutropenia, and rash. The serious adverse events included neutropenia in three participants, acute kidney injury in two participants, and two deaths. Now, only one of the deaths is possibly related to the treatment. Uh, the cryptococcal meningitis was after a sinus surgery and the patient was on glucocorticoids and immunosuppression. Um, so the meningitis was most likely related to the sinus surgery, but the immunosuppression uh, did not likely help. Um, and the death occurred at 19.5 months after treatment. So I think the only way that this death is related to the treatment was the fact that the patient was on immunosuppression. Now, type 1 diabetes itself is somewhat immunosuppressive uh, or immunocompromising, so this patient may have ended up with the same outcome regardless, even if they had not had the treatment. But it does beg the question whether immunosuppression is worth the trade-off of treating or curing the type 1 diabetes. And I think that's only an answer that's going to be uh, a question that's going to be answered going forward in future trials. Uh, and I think that sort of risk benefit is going to have to be weighed out. Um, there are other strategies where there is no immunosuppression, um, and maybe those will win out in the end. But this is a great step in proving that islet cells that are implanted into a type 1 diabetic can cure them of their type 1 diabetes. So here's the reference. Hope you enjoyed the video. And please read this article. It is super fascinating uh, from the New England Journal of Medicine.